Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. What is the best anti-inflammatory diet? That's an important question. You know, diet really is a, a significant factor in inflammatory diseases like arthritis and osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, most inflammatory conditions. Uh, uh, you know, diet actually can be a factor that can make things worse or can help to tame the inflammatory process. The most important feature of this is that certain foods contain the building block for inflammation. So in certain foods, there is a particular fat. It's a polyunsaturated fat. It's called arachidonic acid. I know it's a big word. Arachidonic acid in those foods, once it gets into the cells of the body, is converted into an inflammatory hormone called prostaglandin series 2 by certain enzymes like cyclooxygenase and by lipoxygenase. The truth is that the way that aspirin helps to decrease inflammation is by blocking the conversion of arachidonic acid into prostaglandin series 2. So it blocks that enzyme cyclooxygenase. So that's how important this process is. So if the thing is, if you just rely on aspirin and ibuprofen and Voltaren and Dindomethacin and Celebrex, then you know, those things have side effects over time that can be quite damaging. So part of the solution to reducing inflammation is to have a diet that gives you the least amount of arachidonic acid in the first place. If you don't put in the inflammatory raw material, which is arachidonic acid, then you're not going to make as much inflammatory prostaglandins as a, as a natural byproduct of your body's own physiology. So where is there a lot of arachidonic acid that you want to avoid? Well, here's where it's hiding. It's hiding in all red meat. It's hiding in pork products. Even dairy products are a problem when it comes to inflammation. And then certain vegetable oils like corn oil, sunflower seed oil, safflower seed oil, mixed vegetable oils, contain another fat that the body will convert into arachidonic acid. So you want to try to limit those oils and use more of the monounsaturated fats like olive oil as a, as a good example. That's a much better alternative. So it's better to eat chicken breast and turkey breast, to have egg whites, to have soy products, to have legumes like beans and peas, uh, whey protein powder. These things don't have a lot of arachidonic acid, but they give you the protein that you need for your lean mass and to keep your immune system strong. Other ways to decrease the inflammatory process, you take a supplement of essential fatty acids with flax seed oil, borage seed oil, and fish oil all in one capsule. I take three capsules a day myself because I think it has even important anti-cancer properties, which we can talk about some other time. But those raw materials, those types of fats, allow the body to make the anti-inflammatory prostaglandins, which are prostaglandin series 1 and series 3. And of course, you should eat fish twice a week because those omega-3 fats become prostaglandin series 3, which are anti-inflammatory. So there, and there are some supplements, by the way, that can also reduce inflammation. But they work like aspirin without the side effects, if you will. I like the combination of curcumin with boswellia, with ginger, with white willow bark extract, all sort of in one capsule. But also quercetin and bromelain enzymes, also useful, and some other lifestyle strategies as well. I'm bringing this to your attention. Because many family doctors and rheumatologists and orthopedic surgeons fail to mention to the patient how important diet is in managing inflammation, as well as supplements and also certain exercises as well to strengthen the joints. It's very disappointing and discouraging because the evidence is very strong and consistent that these things can be helpful, and it can help to reduce your reliance on more of the, the anti-inflammatory drugs, which have can have very serious side effects over time. So you want to try to minimize your reliance on those drugs. I'm not saying you eliminate them. I'm saying minimize your reliance. Your dietary approach is very important. So the best thing you can do to understand this is to I have an e-book that you can download for free. It's called Proven Natural Remedies for Joint Pain, Arthritis, and Inflammation. You can download it right here, and I think you ought to do that, especially if you've had any inflammatory condition uh, that's bothering you right now. This booklet outlines the exact lifestyle plan to help you manage any inflammatory or arthritic condition. The strategies can be used along with any drugs or medical treatment that you're undergoing uh, uh, under the supervision of your physician. Every, certainly this, every arthritic patient should have a copy of this ebook, Proven Natural Remedies for Joint Pain, Arthritis, and Inflammation. So download it right now. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll also see my other review papers, uh, videos, footage from my live professional seminars. Uh, you'll see some downloads that I created, some other resources that will help you lead a long, healthy, 
function alive, keeping your body and your mind functional for as long as possible. All my research articles and my teaching materials have all the scientific references in them so you know you're getting only evidence-based scientific information on the health topics that you're seeking out. So make sure that you use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.